The following program has been brought to you by Sammy Joseph Ministries. And now for his message today, here is Reverend Sammy. Hello there and welcome to yet another interesting episode of Harvest Ways with uh, Sammy Joseph. I am your host, Dr. Sammy Joseph, and I've got somebody very important right here in the studio with me today is my very beautiful daughter, uh, Gabriella Joseph. Uh, very soon, Gabriella will be talking to you uh, shortly on one or two things that uh, uh, God has laid on our heart uh, to share together with you on this program. Before we go into anything like we usually do on this program, please let's go before God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you very much for the grace you've given to us to share your word with everyone across the world. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing and harvest ways with Sammy Joseph right across the whole world. We bless you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask this day that you will take this word into our hearts Bless our adolescents, bless our children, bless our teenagers, and bless our parents to the glory of your name. With thanksgiving, we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. And God's people say, amen. amen and amen. Again, I am very pleased to bring Gabriela into the studio with us today. Uh, it's the first time that she's coming right here uh, on Harvest Ways. And I pray that God will give you uh, many more chances to be with us right on this program. Would you like to say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. Okay, Gab is a little bit shy. She's giggling and she says hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, by the very special grace of God, I have uh, received a note right here. I really don't know how to use uh, this stuff. Oh, it's flipping now. Right, here is a note from uh, one of the listeners to Harvest Ways with Sammy Joseph in Ontario in Canada. Dear Dr. Joseph Care Harvest Ways with Sammy Joseph, we love to listen to your anointed messages on the YouTube weekly. We love your love for Jesus. We understand through a friend that you will be visiting Harrow in Canada early April 2015. Yes, that's right. By the very special grace of God, I'm coming to Harrow and to Detroit in Michigan, in the United States of America, and also to Harrow in Ontario, in Canada, uh, March 31st through to April the 9th. March 31st through to April the 9th. I will be in Harrow by the very special grace of God, 3rd of April, the Good Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, Easter Sunday, and Resurrection Monday. By the grace of God, I will be ministering at uh, the Endurance uh, Ministries Church in Harrow, in Ontario, in Canada. Now, we understand that you will be coming to Canada early April. We'll love to come and hear you speak in person. Oh, definitely, by the grace of God, I am looking forward to as many uh, of our friends all around Detroit, Michigan, uh, Ohio, uh, Michigan, uh, London in uh, Ontario and Harrow in Ontario, uh, Windsor in Ontario, uh, Hermitsburg, is that how you call it? Hermitsburg in Ontario. I'm looking forward to every one of you uh, uh, sharing together the Word of God all across the world in Experience Harvest Ways uh, 2015 USA Canada Mission. We'd love to come and hear you speak in person. Please kindly email us your itinerary by the grace of God again. We will put it right there on the screen for you to see. And if you follow us on Facebook and Twitter, you will find the flyer has been advertised right on the social media. We are praying for you. Thank you so much for praying for us in the name of the Lord. We appreciate that. We need more prayer support and we need more financial support. So if God lays upon your heart to pray for us and prayerfully, you know, uh, uh, commit this ministry into the hands of God, write us to admin at harvestways.org or write to me at reverend sammy at harvestways.org uh, also if god lays upon your heart to financially support these ministries write us at the same email addresses or call us as to the numbers that are shown at the bottom of your screen 
And if we may ask, how far is Harrow from Windsor, Ontario? Well, I gather that Harrow is just about 40 minute drive from Windsor in uh, Ontario. So thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. LC from uh, Windsor in Ontario in Canada. I look forward to seeing you, uh, shaking your hands and, and iron sharpening iron and you know ministering together and uh, ministering to one another uh, in April uh, 2015. Today we are talking on uh, training our children and particularly our young people or young adults and uh, uh, how you can as a parent better your relationship uh, with your children is going to be serious that I trust God that we will be able to uh, share with you uh, uh, subsequently uh, during this time and over to my beautiful daughter right now because she's got a, uh, a word of God a scriptural verse am I right to okay. share together with us and to lead us on uh, before God uh, today's session okay so if we're able to turn to Genesis 18 and verse 19 you ready? Yes, please. For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord, to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. So we see here that um, God was talking about Abraham and his family, and he was saying that Abraham has the authority now to command his children I love that word you just said to command command <laughs> <laughs> to command his children uh, what, what how how why did God want Abraham to teach and to train that word command I believe is uh, to train his children so that um, the children and his household are able to follow the way of the Lord and just to grow within God's love. Go, grow within God's love. Thank you, Gab. God, uh, Gab says they need to uh, grow within God's love. Uh, right there, if I may just quickly uh, quip in here, right there in verse uh, uh, nine, is it 18 and... Uh, Verse 19. Verse 19. Now let me, let, me, let, me, let me just take you a step, a step backward to uh, 18. 18. Is that okay if I just read that? Uh, the Bible says right here, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Uh, uh, I know him. I know him that he shall uh, train and, 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 and expect, have a high expectation of his children, uh, uh, command them uh, to follow the way of the Lord. Seems to me right here that there is something that God is passing across to us right here on the life of Abraham that he knows him that he will command them uh, uh, because of certain reason uh, so that he will be able to inherit the promises of God isn't that true yes that's true God uh, wanted Abraham to have a mighty nation that's right so. God wanted Abraham to have uh, become a mighty nation uh, yeah. if you go to Genesis in chapter 17 uh, Genesis in chapter 17 and would you like to read to us for us please uh, uh, verses uh, 1 and 2 and 3 okay and when Abraham was 90 years old and 9 the Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him I am the almighty God walk before me and be thou perfect and I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Wow, interesting. So God made a, a, a covenant with Abraham, saying that uh, he was going to become a father of many nations. many nations. But what good is it if you're going to be a father of many nations, and your kids are just you know, wallowing around the place and, you know, uh, whooping somebody by the backside or, <laughs> or causing trouble all over the places. Do you think that they will be able, uh, the promises of God will be able to be realized in the life of Abraham if he did not train his children? No, not at all. 
So mm-hmm. and 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 you're not sure of that, are you? You're like uh, looking like no, not at all. But well, what no. are you going to say? No. If um, his children did not follow what he said, then they won't be able to have part of that gift that God promised them. The covenant that God made for them. Yeah. So in other words, when God makes covenant for us, uh, he makes uh, uh, the covenants for, for us, and those covenants are, are also inclusive of our children and generations to come. I believe that's, that's what that place is talking about. Yes. Right. So, how did how did Abraham? Uh, how many people did Abraham actually uh, teach? Well, in Genesis fourteen fourteen, if you turn there. Okay, Genesis fourteen. Did you say fourteen? Chapter and fourteen, verse 14. fourteen. Yep. Let's go. It says, and when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, three hundred and eighteen. And pursued them unto Dan. So we see here that he had 318 servants, but because they were within his household, he took them as his own. Mm. So yeah. mm. he took, he took, he took. So in other words, we have, we have, we have. Abraham had 318 soldiers, but those were uh, his servants. His servants, and they were children born, servants born in his house. So in other yes. words, those servants had their own parents. Yes, they did. Right, and and. And what is clear to me right here, if I'm wrong, please put me right, is that Abraham began to teach those 318 uh, uh, soldiers along with their parents, along with his own children, and anybody that served or lived under his domain, according to the Jewish law at that time. If you live under my domain, it's going to be behave in Rome as we Romans behave. Isn't that true? That's very true. And wasn't that, I think, the major reason why God gave them victory? Immense victory, immense victory given by God to Abraham over those that they went pursuing that day. Why? Because they were trained, they were trained by the man of God that had the covenant of God over his life he, he realized that he had got the covenant of God over his life and he took it the next step. See, the next step is that we now pass on the baton like it's a relay race. Isn't that true? That we, we now pass on the, the baton as in a relay race, uh, I've run my race, uh, you run your race, but this is how we run this race. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. Worship with us at any of our branches where you would be welcomed with warmth and love. The Harvest Ways International Church, Holloway Hall, Lay Hill, Northfield, Birmingham, England, B311TT. Telephone country code 44 785 467 5159. Sundays at 12 p.m. and Friday Bible study at 7 p.m. The Harvest Ways International Church in Nigeria. Telephone 234-813-236-0850. Sundays at 9 a.m. and Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. Reverend Sammy Joseph has written several books that are available through Harvest Ways website at harvestways.org. Enjoy inspiring and rich teaching through each one of these engaging books. Destroying the Power of Delay, Possessing Your Canaan, Before You Step Into Someone Else's Shoes, and Gideon, Releasing the Potential Within You. Please take time to visit our website and order any of our books at harvestways.org. We deliver around the world. You may also support this ministry on the same website, harvestways.org, by clicking the Sow a Seed button. Connect with Reverend Sammy on Facebook and Twitter, searching for Sammy O. Joseph. This broadcast has been paid for by the Sammy Joseph Ministries. We thank you for your generous support.